so I remember I was in jail and I was thinking about my entire life. I was thinking about all these events with my parents, seeing my mom dead on the floor, seeing my parents fight, seeing my dad in a standoff with the cops, almost getting shot in front of me. Like all these things that just scarred me. And every step of the way through my life, I never dealt with them. I would just smoke more weed, drink more alcohol, skip school more. I was in denial and I was running from my life's truth. All right, we're back with another episode of the Unstoppable Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Sean Michael Crane. We're here in Santa Barbara, California, you guys, at the Unstoppable HQ. If you've never been to Santa Barbara, it's one of the most beautiful places in the entire world, right? We're in California. A lot of people hate on California, but I'm waking up, looking at the sunrise over the Pacific Ocean, palm trees, sunsets, beautiful people. The energy out here is amazing, right? Southern California is overpopulated. You go down to Orange County in L.A., and it's a zoo down there, right? There's people sleeping in the street. There's a lot of crazy shit going on. But Santa Barbara is like this protected area, right, where there's not a lot of people that come up from L.A. and Orange County. And we have this amazing community here. I'm so blessed to call this home, to be raised here, and to be really establishing my, my company and my mission out of Santa Barbara, California. So we're going to be hosting masterminds here all year long. We got dope mansions on the beach up in the mountains, we're going to be pushing our minds, our bodies, and our spirits to the limit and doing it together with like-minded individuals. That's how you grow. So if you want to be a part of our masterminds, our retreats, or the Unstoppable program, go ahead and visit unstoppable365mfr.com. Shoot me a message or follow me, Sean, S-E-A-N, underscore Crane, underscore official on Instagram. Send me a DM. We're on a mission to positively impact the world. That's what this is all about. I'm a guy that comes from literally nothing. I lost both my parents. They were battling drug and alcohol addiction. I went to prison. I was facing life in prison. And in the midst of my own despair, at rock bottom, I found a solution. I found the light, right? And to this point, it's almost hard to describe with words what I did or what I found to change my life. But a book I just read recently I want to share with you guys helped me to understand exactly what took place psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, in my life during those times. It's called Letting Go, The Pathway of Surrender by David R. Hawkins. One of the best books I've ever read in my life, if not the best book. Now for me, I love to read. I love to seek information. I'm a curious individual. And I love to learn about myself. I love to learn about the world. I've just always been curious since I was a kid. That's such an important attribute. People that stop learning, they stop growing, and they're stagnant. And when you're stagnant, you're very close to declining. So I'm always looking for how I can progress. How can I become a better man? How can I gain more wisdom? How can I gain more insight? I want to learn about myself. I want to learn about the world. I want to learn how to be a better person, a better leader, a better husband, a better father. Like, I want to be the best. Don't you guys want to be the best? Like, I know you do, right? If you say you don't want to be the best, you're full of shit. What are you here for? To be second best? To be the worst? Like, be the best version of yourself you could ever be. I'm talking about you, you versus you, nobody else. It's you versus you. Fuck everyone else. Are you better than you were yesterday? Are you better than you were last year? Like you should be in a constant state of progression. That means you work out, you read, you learn, you go to events, you meet new people, expand your mindset, expand your perspective, get out of your comfort zone. If you're stuck in the same monotonous life and every day seems like ground, Groundhog Day, how could you be inspired? How could you wake up just wanting to race out the door and go chase your dreams? You won't. You'll be looking forward to Friday to drink with your buddies or the weekend to sleep in. You're loving those four-day weekends, right, or those extra holidays you get during the year. Like, you're loving that time off from the life that you chose to live, right? Fuck that. You're made for more, okay? So how can a guy like me who went through all that stuff get to the point where I'm living a life that I absolutely love and I cherish, a life by design? Like, if I could do it, you can too. That's why I'm sharing this message. My message is redundant. What am I going to do? Make new shit up? What am I going to do? Like try to fabricate the story or give you these hacks to help you to jump ahead quicker? No, I'm giving you the exact blueprint that I worked in my life that helped me change my life. So in prison, the first step for me was letting go of years and years and years of trauma, years and years and years of shame and guilt that I had suppressed. And I knew what happened to me when I was in jail. Like, I knew that I went through a spiritual transformation, like an awakening of sorts. But I didn't know exactly what was happening to me. I just knew I felt 
immensely different. Like I went from this person to this person very quickly. Now, when I was younger, I was going through all these different, um, you know, chaotic moments. I saw my mother overdose. My dad went to jail. I saw them fight. I got in trouble as a juvenile. And then ultimately being arrested and charged with attempted murder for a crime I didn't commit. So I had all this trauma and all this chaos. I didn't realize that I was carrying around all of those years of trauma and guilt and shame every step of the way going forward. Like this stuff started happening when I was 10. I didn't get arrested until I was 23. So for 13 years, I was carrying around all this guilt, all this shame, all this trauma, all this suppressed emotion. And I literally felt like I was trying to swim in the ocean with an anchor tied around my ankle. Like all I could do was just barely keep my head above water. I was treading water in my entire life. And the reason for that is because I hadn't dealt with those life circumstances. I hadn't accepted what had happened to me and allowed myself to move on. I felt so bad about who my parents had become and what other people thought of me and how I viewed myself in my own life that I kept myself stuck. And a lot of people do this. If you've gone through some traumatic events in life, if you've suppressed emotion, which a lot of people do, you're never gonna be able to progress into the person you wanna be. You're never gonna be able to live the life that you want. That stuff will keep you bogged down because what we do is we suppress all this emotion, all this pain, and we just bottle up inside of us and it literally bogs us down. Go back to the analogy of the guy trying to swim in the ocean with an anchor, uh, uh, an anchor tied around his ankle. That's you. Like how the fuck are you gonna swim as far as you wanna go and as fast as you wanna go with an anchor tied around your ankle? You can't. So I remember I was in jail and I was thinking about my entire life. I was thinking about all these events with my parents, seeing my mom dead on the floor, seeing my parents fight, seeing my dad in a standoff with the cops, almost getting shot in front of me. Like all these things that just scarred me. And every step of the way through my life, I never dealt with them. I would just smoke more weed, drink more alcohol, skip school more. I was in denial and I was running from my life's truth. And because of that, I continued to recycle this pain inside of me. I continued to stay stuck. And I remember in jail, I was facing life in prison. And that challenge, that fucking mountain in front of me was so high, it was like so insurmountable. I realized that if I had any shot to overcome that difficult set of circumstances, I had to completely let go of the past. Like that stuff was gonna ensure that I stay stuck in that jail cell and never get out. I just felt that. And so very quickly, I came to terms with my past. And I remember I just let it go. I literally just accepted it and let it go. I'm like, you know what? I have to make peace with my past. I have to forgive my parents. This stuff is gonna eat me alive in this jail cell if I don't figure out a way to just release it and let it go. It was one moment and one decision that literally became the pivotal moment that changed my life. That moment where I realized the past I could no longer change and it was going to just harm me over and over if I didn't let go of it and make peace with my past, that moment changed my life forever. So that's what I did. I wrote my le uh, parents' letters of forgiveness, and I just made peace with it. Internally, in my mind, in my spirit, I made peace with it. And I remember after that moment, I felt this huge weight lifted off my shoulders. I couldn't describe it and understand it at the time, and I was almost shocked that I could feel at ease and that much inner peace start to develop within me facing life in prison and sitting in that jail cell. But it did. And that inner peace then became visions of what life could be like, positive feelings and emotions. I started to develop love for myself, love for life, all these things that eluded me for that decade that I was struggling. I started to experience in a six by eight jail cell facing life in prison. That moment right there changed my life forever because I realized that in order to really transcend where you're at right now. In order to live the ultimate life, you have to be able to forgive yourself for things you've done wrong in the past, forgive yourself for things that didn't go your way. You have to be able to accept the life that you had to this point and other people's actions. You can't change that stuff. Most people habitually stay stuck in the past or you're somebody that's not living the life that you want. So every day you're feeling this shame or this guilt, right? You're mad at yourself for not getting up in the morning and going to the gym. You're mad at yourself for settling in your relationship. You're mad at yourself for your eating habits or maybe you're using drugs and alcohol like I used to. So you're constantly in a state of shame and regret. And when you're in that state of shame and regret, the next thing that we wanna do is numb it. That's what I did my entire life. Drugs and alcohol over and over and over, right? So when you're breaking promises to yourself, the next thing that's gonna happen, whether consciously or unconsciously, is you're gonna to start to crave something. If you're not living the life in your heart that you wanna live, this is something you're constantly dealing with. I know it because I was that individual. 
right? You're breaking promises to yourself. And so what's happening in your life is you're craving these things, these band-aids, these fucking band-aids to try to fix what's going on in your life. Instead of dealing with the root cause of it, you're putting a band-aid over it, right? Another drink, more food, more weed, more pills, more social media, more entertainment. What is it that you're using to escape? More porn, more fucking desperate housewives, more Netflix binging. Like, what are you doing to escape from reality? I escaped from reality for 10 years and all it did was make my life worse. It kept me stuck. And had I not gone to prison, had that opportunity to have a massive realization about myself and let go of all that trauma and all that pain, I would probably be dead right now. I definitely wouldn't be here. I definitely wouldn't have a family. I definitely wouldn't have a business. I definitely wouldn't have found my purpose. So I'm talking to that individual right now who knows they're stuck and you're constantly turning to these vices and these things in your life that only exacerbate your problems. Like they don't make it worse. If anything, they just numb you out for a little bit, but it's a never ending cycle that you have to always partake in. You always need that thing, right? The way that you fix this is you have to be honest with yourself about anything in the past that you're still ashamed of, sad about, anything that's still affecting you. Then in the present, you have to identify what are things that'll make me proud of who I am? What are the things I keep saying that I'm not doing? Like you have to get to a point where when you look in the mirror, you're like, I love that person. That person is doing everything every day that their heart is calling them to do. Like that's the person I know I'm meant to be, right? In your relationships at home, in your career, and for yourself. When you start doing those things, you'll recognize that you don't crave as much stuff because you're happy with who you are. You're happy with how you're living. You don't need stuff to numb out that feeling. You want to experience that feeling. You like the way you feel. You like the way you look. You're more inspired. You're happier. You're more upbeat. You're more positive. You feel more love inside of you. You feel more peace. And what you'll notice a lot is the absence of all those negative emotions, right? Less negative self-talk, less anxiety, less depression. Like in the morning, you'll get up and you actually have energy. You'll want to do stuff and you'll start dreaming and thinking bigger. That's indicative of your spirit starting to come alive, right? It's been suppressed by all of that shame, all that guilt, all that emotion that you've just bottled up for so long. That's what happened to me. When my spirit started to come alive, I started to have emotions and feelings that I never had. Inner peace, love, gratitude. Then that culminated in visions of what life could be if I was that person. I remember thinking, gosh, if I would have felt this way when I was out there, I could have done anything with my life. Like, why didn't I feel this way out here? Why didn't I do this sooner? You know, and so I'm sharing this message with you because I want you to know, first and foremost, if you're somebody who can identify with what I'm sharing, you can change right now. You can make the decision to change right now. Typically, it's a process, right? You're not gonna change overnight, but you have to get very clear on what needs to be changed and you have to attack it. So if you go to my Instagram bio, Sean underscore Crane underscore official, I have free resources. Click the link. There's gonna be a mindset course. You need to take this course. I lay out literally step-by-step step how to go about that healing process, how to go about that forgiveness process, then how to turn you know, that bottled up emotion and release it into visions for your future and who you wanna be. I'm gonna teach you exactly what I did to change my life and to take control of my life. So you have to take action though. If this message resonates with you, take action now. Don't keep waiting, don't keep doing the same things over and over and over. Nothing's gonna change for you. Your whole life's gonna pass you by and then you're gonna die with regrets like too many people have. This is the Unstoppable Mindset Podcast. I want to teach you everything you need to learn to be successful, but it's up to you to grab these nuggets, to take this wisdom, and apply it to your life.